Howdy folks, Timber Drifter here. Got a box opening today. A couple other things. Uh, a fella contacted me on Instagram here a while back. Whiskers Briarwood is his Instagram handle. Nick Kanakis on uh, YouTube. <clears throat> Asked me if I'd like some tobacco samples and I said why sure. So anyway that came today. Actually, it came last night, but I'm getting around to opening it now. It's, uh, it's been a beautiful day. I just looked on the thermometer. It's about 44 degrees, but it's sunny. So, it feels good. what we got here. Let's see the box. We got a note. It says the tens are uh, blends that he's seen me smoking on YouTube and uh, he gave them a try and just wasn't for him. And a couple samples of some other stuff. Says he enjoys my YouTube videos. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you do enjoy them. Let's see. Ooh, man. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite tobaccos. And I've been out of it for quite a while. And I think in the last couple of years I've smoked through three tens of it. The first one I bought was one of those. One of the big tens that they came out with originally. It was like a cardboard one. So I smoked through one of those and two of these and. I haven't bought any for a while because I don't buy stuff online. And this feels like a full 10, so I don't know how much you tried of it. <laughs> Nick. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty much a full 10. Oh yeah, excellent. Thank you. I've been out of this stuff for, yeah, months, months and months. It smells great. And then HH Old Dark Fired. I've, I've actually never tried any of this line. I've smoked some McBaron tobaccos. Quite a few of them, but I've never tried the uh, this line. I'll give it a go. Oh yeah, there's a few flakes in here. It's enough for about maybe five bowls or so. It smells good. Nice. Yeah, I just, there's no tobacco shops really around here, so finding stuff like this is hardcore, uh, or uh, hard to do. I see everybody else smoking it, but I, I don't get around to it. We've got some Orlick uh, Golden Sliced. Love this stuff. One of my favorites. Cornell and Deal Autumn Evening. Oh, this is the... Uh, Smells like maple syrup. Yeah, I've been wanting to try this. I like having a an aromatic tobacco that I like smoking. That's not goopy, and that's that doesn't feel that way. And other people around like it too. So it's always nice when you can have people uh, approve of what you're smoking. <laughs> then, uh, oh, Cor Cornell and Deal Epiphany. Haven't tried this either. It smells good. I like most of the Cornell and Deal blends that I've tried. Actually, I like all of them that I've tried. And some pipe cleaners, always necessary. <laughs> you know, it seems like about the time I start running out of pipe cleaners, somebody sends me a package. Uh, well, thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. I'm uh, definitely look forward to trying couple of these here and yeah golden slice is a regular smoke of mine I love this stuff Fuselier's ration that's my blend there's there's a couple others but that's one of them yeah 
Well, what I'm going to do here is just pack a little bowl. We're at five minutes. I'm going to try to keep it under ten. I got some bacon slow cooking on the wood stove inside. So, I'm going to try this uh, autumn evening. Give that a go. Since it feels like spring and it's even though it's 44 degrees out, it's been sunny until the clouds started showing up just a little bit ago. It feels hot outside, so white wine it is. Well, let's see here. So this is a pipe that I made recently. It's uh, pin cherry wood. It's from around here. I cut it some years ago and it's been drying out. I've been, uh, I've got a lot of this wood so I'm going to make quite a few pipes out of it but I figured I'd make a couple and then just smoke the hell out of them to see how, you know, what the qualities of this wood are. <clears throat> and what I've figured out so far is it'll, it's a, similar to a cob and it'll burn out during break-in. That's actually, this is a cob stem. I don't have stem material. I just sanded it a little bit so it would look uh, sort of amber-like. But uh, anyway, what I figured out is this will, this stuff will burn out. I've had about maybe 10, 15 smokes in this so far. And you gotta be real careful breaking it in. You wanna rub the inside of the bowl with honey just a little bit, you know, hardly want it sticky, but and then just smoke it real gentle the first few smokes to start developing a layer uh, of cake in there and just be real mellow don't get it hot which is a nice way to smoke anyway so that's where I'm kinda at with it I'm starting to get a little bit of cake and there's a few spots in there that are charring a little bit which is unfortunate but I've had briars do the same thing so I'm experimenting with it but it's it's a uh, it's a hard wood but it's not real hard and I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but it's actually got pretty pretty decent grain. So pack a bowl here and have a go. And as usual these days I've got my bad attitude tamp. Like I said before, don't take it personal if my tamper points at you. <laughs> yeah, this stuff smells like a pancake house. You could call it IHOP if you had some, if you added a little bit of stewed coffee smell to it, you could call this IHOP. International House of Pancakes. All right, it's a little windy here. That tastes just like uh, maple syrup. Can't taste any tobacco yet. It's not overly sweet though. There we go. Hmm. I like it so far. Another project I've been working on. Took me a day to make this. It's a uh, crook knife or crooked knife. It's made out of an Oberg Sweden file, little chain, flat chainsaw file. Handles cherry wood, same material as the pipe. It's a traditional um, northern bush woodworking tool for splitting cedar and carving uh, bowls and cups and you know things that are rounded. That's what that curve is for. Be able to take out a round chip, carve the inside of something round. 
So anyway, just fun stuff. I make these kind of things from time to time. I made this one because I lost my last one. A lot of the time I just, if I'm going camping for a while, which doesn't happen too much these days, but I'm going to go out for a week or something, I'll just take the blade and make a handle in the field. The handle's held in place with a, a wedge and the lashing there, and it's... I don't know if that picked that up or not. It's solid. So, there's something else I've been working on here. Did a little trail clearing earlier with my old beater uh, double bit. Got this side sharpened nice and sharp, throws a good chip, and this side for hitting roots or chopping close to the ground, kind of traditional way to sharpen them. See the old model 94 30 30 by the door there. Splitting firewood earlier today, green ash, and had a crotch from a green ash tree. And green ash is a pretty stringy wood, it doesn't like to split very well anyway. And when you're trying to split grain that's going three different ways, I just chopped the hell out of that log and couldn't get it to let go. So I got the old 30 30 out and gave that knot hell. Shot it three times and got my firewood split. You might think that's some redneck shit, and it is. <laughs> All right, anyway, that's what I'm up to. Appreciate the tobacco and the pipe cleaners, Nick. Certainly do. All right, y'all take care.